And for our first guest of the day, who was coming back for the first time since May of 2022, it had been that long, big fight for her, big time spot, a lot of attention on her going into this fight, and she came out looking fantastic, big win, and now very much in the mix. Once again, we're talking to Tracy Cortez for, I think, the first time in the history of the show. I think it's your first appearance. Yes, Tracy, is that true? This is the first appearance. How are you? (laughs) Uh, Great to have you on. Thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. And congrats. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, All right. So a lot to discuss with you. Of course, you're coming off that very big win, uh, somewhat emotional win. You you have fought on some big stages before. You fought in Phoenix last time we saw you. But considering everything that went into this card, plus the layoff, and, and as you talked about, you know, a tough year for you, ups and downs, was that one of the biggest, if not the biggest win of your career so far? Absolutely. I think every, I think everyone from here on out just keeps getting more and more better, you know? Oh, we still Can you see me. Yeah, yeah, I see you. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I think every, every, uh, win from here on out is extremely important, but after, uh, like you said, a long layoff and, and just the, the pressure of, ring rust and everything else that came comes with fighting. It was, uh, it was extremely emotional. <laughs> did you feel the pressure? Were you super nervous going into this one? I, I kind of did feel the pressure, but I thrive off that shit, you know, like I love it. I feel like I work better. Really? Have there been fights where yeah. you didn't feel pressure and you didn't perform as a result? Um, my debut. Really? Why is that? That's my kind of backwards. Debut. I know when I had my debut, I was kind of just more excited. You know, I was no one. There was it, it, I'm new, fresh. I didn't really prepare myself or put myself. It, I didn't expect nothing, you know. And as a result, I lost my pro debut. And after that, I kind of put I, I put that pressure upon myself. And ever since, I've been able to just thrive off of it. Can I ask why didn't you fight since last May? Um, just a lot of personal issues, you know, life problems, um, dealing with health injuries, making sure I'm in the right state of mind, everything. Okay. So it wasn't just like a a serious injury that it was just a mix of stuff. It was life. Life got in the way. Life got in the way. I, I, uh, I tore my pec really bad. Oh, damn. Um, early in the year. And then as it was getting better, I, I want to say in like uh, end of March, I had surgery on my hand. Uh, from after I had surgery on my hand, I started running a lot, doing a, more for my MCL. Oh, so it's just little injuries here and there. Finally, I kind of just I healed a little bit, not fully from my hand, but I healed. Took off to Brazil, ended up training um, in Natal, Brazil, at the Pitbull uh, Academy. I was there for a while. I learned, I evolved, I grew so much, and then um, came back. My coaches saw me as a different athlete after that. They saw how I grew in just a matter of weeks of being out there. Um, I learned so much from from Patricio, from Patricky. The entire team was just so welcoming. Uh, Came back, applied everything that I learned. I texted my coaches, I texted my manager. I said, hey, let's, let's give me a fight, I'm ready. Like I'm healed, I feel good. My I'm, at the time, my hand was still hurting a little bit to punch because of the surgery, but after that, I was good to go. Whose idea was it for you to go to Brazil? Mine. Why did you make it that call? Um, I've only trained at Fight Ready. You know, with I've I've only had one team. I've I've never seen anything outside of my gym. And um, talking to Henry, I was I was like, man, I want to grow. I want to evolve. And he's always telling me, like, hey, you should try different places because that's the only way you'll grow. You can't just you won't you won't grow. Or, you can, but you need to see more. So then Henry um, was like, you should because we know the Pivot Brothers. He said you should you should go to Brazil. You know, it's safe. You know someone. You're not. You're not going to run into someone you might fight in the future. So I, we booked the ticket. I went to Brazil. He was already there with his wife and uh, his his kid. And 
met him there. He introduced me to everybody. He came back to the States and I just stayed in Brazil. So there wasn't like a first day at school vibe, like where you were the new kid and you were like, you already, you had someone to introduce you. You felt welcomed. It, you didn't feel threatened at all. At all. It was the most just heartfelt welcoming that I've, I did not, if everybody was so kind. Mm. Granted, I didn't understand nothing because everyone sport, uh, spoke uh, Portuguese, Portuguese. So it was, it, the language barrier was a little difficult, but because of the Spanish, I was able to understand a little bit. And uh, I ended up learning how to talk in Portuguese a little bit, communicate, like I was able to communicate my way around. Do you think that if you don't take that trip and maybe uh, look at MMA in a different way and fall in love or whatever it is, that that happened there that your your return gets delayed even further that you don't come back this past weekend uh no no i wouldn't say that okay i think i think i think that trip did me really good i mean no credit to my coaches you know but i know uh a, a lot of what i learned stand up wise was there i really got my confidence out there in Brazil, in Natal. And uh, being able to apply it here and just be consistent and continue to apply it every single day from when I came back to up until my fight, I think was key. Um, and I applied it, you know, on the card. Uh, you are obviously uh, a shoe in for this card. Made a lot of sense. If there wasn't a Noche <laughs> UFC, would you have come back sooner? Would you have come back later? It would made all the sense in the world to have you on this date. Did the timing just work out perfectly or did you have to rush to get back because of the card? I think the timing turned turned out perfectly. Wow. It was perfect. They uh yeah, they, they said, Hey, uh, what do you let's put her on this card? And my manager was like, Perfect, that's a, a good camp. Uh and then they gave me the opponent and I was like, done. And then that's when I found that's when I ended up finding out in the midst of uh uh as they started announcing the the the, the fight. That it's not she UFSA. And I was like, oh my God, September 16th. Like, that's incredible. Uh, I, I, I was not there, but I was, uh, I just did a whole thing talking about it where I was just completely captivated. It, it's one of my favorite events ever that I've watched. Like, the crowd was incredible, the vibe. It, like, it reminded me why I fell in love with the sport because it felt so special and emotional and unique. Uh, you still hear yeah. me? You still see me? Yeah, I see. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that. No problem. No problem. And so I'm just wondering for someone who competed, who was a part of the whole week, who had this connection with you? What, could you even describe what it was like fighting on Saturday there? Oh my God, it was insane! I kid you not. I I, I understand. I was early early in the prelims, so the crowd wasn't full yet. But I, it sounded when I walked out like it was a full stadium. I kid you, it sounded like it was so it was it was so loud in there when I walked out. The energy was incredible. Everybody's energy. Like people showed up, it was it was such a great feeling. By the way, not and then to have that to, to have that response after being gone for so long, yeah, was I think was just like the cherry on top. Could I ask, not trying to stir the pot or anything, but why were you on the prelims? I can argue that you were maybe like top three or four most popular fighters on the card. Why so long? Yeah, I don't know. I ha you know I don't know. They they gave me some. Uh, reasonable explanations up in the back and they wanted to, they wanted to test some things and, but it's okay. You know, I, I was, uh, it is what it is. I don't, I'm not going to argue with them. Were you annoyed? <laughs> um, at first I was, you know, at first I was kind of bummed out, like really still prelims, but, uh, with it being fight week, I, I didn't want to focus too much on that and get distracted. You know, it's already fight week. They already told me where I'm going to be at. I, I Let me accept it and just focus on the fight now. There's okay. nothing I can do. Are, it was one of those things. Are you happy with your performance? A little bit. A little bit. I, 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 I'm happy in, the, in terms of I was able to be composed and really showcase my hands and the growth, you know. Um, but I, I went on a mission. I really wanted to knock her out. Mm. I really wanted to knock her out, but it's okay. Because of uh, who she is, or like something she, or just because you just wanted to prove that point, regardless of who it was that you were fighting against. I just wanted to prove that point. I wanted to show that I have I have the knockout power. I wanted to show that 
Uh, I've evolved as a fighter. Uh, most importantly, it's not shit worth a say, you know? I wanted to give that crowd the, <laughs> just the excitement. What happened with your hair there? Did she pull on your hair? Oh, she did pull my hair. Yeah. She, there's a moment where we're clinching and her fingers are in my hair. And I'm like, what the? I was like, no. And I'm defending. And then she goes and grabs the other side. And she's pulling in the back of my braid here. And I'm like, and I feel it. And you see me, there's a, there, there's a different angle on Twitter, um, a top angle. And you see where she's, my hair is getting pulled. And when she lets go, that's where I, I get head kicked. Damn. She follows it up with a head kick. And I'm, and I'm looking at her and I didn't even say nothing yet. I'm just looking at her like, are you fucking serious right now? You know what you did. And she follows it with, with, I didn't fucking kick you or I didn't fucking pull your hair. I was like, no, you pulled my fucking hair. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're professional here. But that one did bother me. Yeah. Do you think she did on purpose? <laughs> that one was, mm, I don't know. I I just know she, I've never pulled hair in there. Mm. You know? So with the clinch and everything that we get into, I... I it's it's it, I don't you it's not an it's in my opinion not an accident. Did did you talk a lot during the fight? Did you did she talk to you? Mm -mm. Okay, just then. No. Yeah. Did you think you had done enough to win before they read the um, scorecards? I I I I do I do think I won. I do think I won the fight. I think um, I I. Dominated, dominated in the striking. Like, I granted, I always think there's other things I could always have done better, but I do think I won. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I do see that there's a little controversy, like back and forth. What do you mean? Uh, just on Twitter, mm -hmm. people saying, "Oh, Tracy was running the whole time." I call it cutting angles, but you know, to each their own. Okay, you read that <laughs> stuff. A little bit, yeah. Why? Yeah. It's just there. It doesn't stop coming in. Yeah. People are tagging me. It's just there. Would you rather not do that? Granted, I also, I also don't get on Twitter as much. I just repost things. Okay. Um, But it, the numbers just keep piling, you know, the yeah. little no notification. Um, but what I do read the most is on is on um, Instagram. Okay. And is it is it fairly it's, positive? Oh, my God. Everything. Every, my fans are incredible. My fans are incredible. If you look at the comment section, it, there's going to be a troll or two, but for the most part, everyone is so like so supportive. Can I can I ask it's, you about that? Because I feel, correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like this, like today or this weekend when you fought, you are infinitely more popular than the last time we saw you. What has changed in the last year plus? What what's the difference? I don't know. Do you agree I, with that statement? I, <laughs> I would agree, yeah. What's changed? I don't know, you know. I just, I, I'm not doing nothing different. I'm just a me. I'm a, I don't know. I don't know what it, I don't know what it is. Because also during that period, you haven't fought, so it's not like you've been on TV uh -huh. every four or five months. But yet, it feels like you have fought the last, you know, three four months, and you're like compared to the fight in Phoenix of May of 2022, it feels like a totally different connection that you have with the MMA fans. Yeah, I, 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 I can't, I can't really pinpoint what it is or what. I just know this year alone, fans have just really connected with me. Mm. Really connected with me. The, the the amount of messages I get, it's just super inspiring, super heartfelt. It's it's been. Incredible to say the least. I, I I I don't know what it is. I honestly don't know what it is. But yeah, I, I I do know what you're saying. I know who to blame for this, by the way. Oh yeah, Paulo Costa. It's all oh. his fault. It's all Paulo Costa. Oh fault. god, Paulo Costa, that freaking guy. I mean, just Jeez. one post and you become. I I know from experience. One post changed your life. No, no, hell no. I'm not gonna give Costa all the credit. <laughs> <laughs> no, he ain't getting no credit for this. This is me. Okay, fair no, enough. No, yeah, uh, but about that, yeah, man, that that did blow up, didn't it? It was that a, little 
No incident. Were you surprised by that? Um, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, I was. Can I ask you the backstory there? Like, what what was the yeah, story behind yeah. that photo? So when I got to Brazil, um, like I said, everybody greeted me so well. Everybody was just incredible, welcoming. Um, other places, especially like there, there you, there's tends to be a lot of ego, right? And people aren't friendly. Uh, and if they are, they try to like rip your head off in a sparring session or something. These, when I tell you at the, at that Academy, everybody was just so respectful. Everybody was so well, it, it felt like a family there. It really felt like a family. And I was so taken back at how, how tight the entire team was that I told, I, I told everybody, I forgot what fight, but it was like, it was like a UFC, uh, a pay-per-view card. And I said, Hey, I want to treat everybody to like the best dinner here. So we ordered it. I ordered food for everybody. Went to go pick it up. When I got there, I had an Airbnb. Uh, Costa was there. All the coaches were there. The team was there. Patricio was there. Everybody was there. And we're, uh, I'm serving everybody and I'm kind of just, I'm hurrying up, right? I'm like serving everybody the plate, the entire team. Like it was such a dope night. And Costa goes, hey, I didn't know you're managed by uh, Tiki. I was like, yeah, that's my manager. He goes, here, let's send him a picture. And you could just see it. I'm just like, uh, it's like a yeah, quick, yeah. Yeah. all right. And I keep going about my day. And then Tiki texts him and they're, and they're showing me and we're laughing. And uh, I want to say like two weeks later, I come back to the States and then Costa posts that photo. <laughs> right. And yeah. it was just like ha happy Friday from Tracy and me, literally like, or Saturday, whenever, whatever right. day it was that he posted. It. And I woke up the next, cause I think he posted that at night. I woke up the next morning. Oh my. Started. Yeah. Oh my God. And I kind of just stayed quiet. I was like, eh. And then uh, Costa and his wife, they, they call, they call me or his fiance, I should say. Yeah. And they're like, oh my God, it blew up. And, and she knows what she's doing too, Tamara. <laughs> and they're like, well, we'll address it. I go, all right, thank you. I go, it's funny, but you guys address it when, you know? Yeah. And they let it run. Yeah. Oh my God. And then I, I let it run too. I was like, man, fuck, like, it, are, it is what it is now. Like, there's no going back. So I didn't address it. I didn't care. I just, I just, I said it. I'm gonna run with it too. Have some fun. Have a good laugh. And that was it. And that was it. Yeah, that was literally it. That was the that was the backstory. Sure, sure. It sure. was a quick a picture from a manager, and that was it. He's a he's a bit of a of a shit disturber that custom, but we love him for it. He's just funny. He doesn't yeah. he doesn't take it serious. He doesn't take social media serious. It's it's all laughs, and the fact that I mean, I think people knew the fans knew. Nevertheless, who doesn't love to troll? Right, right, right. Yeah. You know? Um. By the way, did he offer you secret juice? Did you try it at all? No. No, I've been trying at to get all. my hands on it as well. He won't. Uh, he won't offer it up. Um. I, I do. I do. You know, you you talked about this at the uh, the press conference, and I completely understand where you were coming from. But there is no denying, like you you live a very public life, and you you made your life very public on uh, you know relationships and all that. Do you regret that in the sense that like going forward, you will not do that so that people don't know as much or won't pry as much or won't react, you know, because that was part of the whole Costa thing too, right? People were kind of making mm -hmm. insinuations. Do you learn a lesson from that moving forward or is that just all part of being a famous fighter? It's just one of those things where it's it, everything from here on out is just lessons, challenge relations, you know? Um, what I like, what I don't like, what I'll do, do again, what I won't do again. Um, it, it's one of those things where I notice where if there's a photo of me, it might go viral. Why? I don't know. But like, just like a simple selfie with like, it went viral. Um, it's, 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 it's just me. I am a very private person. You know, I have a very small circle, um, that I consider friends. So anything like personal life, I just, I think I'll stay, I'll, I'll stay to myself from mm -hmm. here on out. Um, Lesson learned. Yeah. Uh, speaking of your, your circle, I know you spoke on Saturday 
about uh, Gloria Cejudo's passing, uh, Henry's sister, which is heartbreaking and horrific. And my, my, my heart and my condolences go out to his family. And I understand that she was very close to you as well. To get news like that before such a big night for you, and obviously that pales in comparison to anything sport-related, how were you able to not allow those emotions to affect you on Saturday? It's hard. It is. It, uh, it's the hard truth where you have to be selfish. You know, you have to be selfish. And it was one of those things where my team kind of just let me be for a little bit. I processed everything um, to the much that, I, you know, as much as I possibly can. And then uh, I had to just check in. Like, all right, still work week, fight week, focus be selfish right now and just focus on this fight. Okay. And I, I think having that one goal, just that one thing to just focus on really helped me out a lot too. Sometimes you hear from fighters like, all I care about is Saturday, everything else I'll deal with later. Do you think this is one of those where the reality will now hit you this week because you were just compartmentalizing everything for Saturday? Absolutely. Absolutely. Where even... Once everything happened, um, everything kind of just weighed heavy on me, you know, and I, I I felt it and I was like, dang, all right. And I was actually going to stay in Vegas uh, longer than I should have, but I came straight home. I'm, I'm home now. I came straight home and I texted uh, Henry. I was like, hey, man, like, I'm going to go over tomorrow, today. Just go hang out with them, be with be with the family for a little bit. Um, did you watch the main event? I didn't. I didn't get to watch. I watched some highlights, but I did see that it was back and forth. Okay. You didn't want, I thought maybe you'd be locked in. I mean, it's very uh, pertinent to you. They, it, it really was, but they had me so busy. Okay. They had me so busy in the back. And then when I finally did watch, I just, I was, I go, wait, I just want to see who wins, who wins, who wins. And I saw that it was a draw, Alexa State champ, which was incredible. Good for her. I saw her in the back after she won, gave her a big hug. You guys are cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not to the point where, you, like, if it ever came, you would you would fight her for the belt, right? If the if the time ever came, yeah, we would. How, we would fight for the belt. How far away do you think you are from that conversation? Honestly, I don't think I'm far. I mean, I'm undefeated in the UFC. I'm five and zero. Oh. I, I I don't think I'm far, but I just know that there is some girls I got to get through before I get there. You know, I know that there's girls that have been active and I'm not only, you know, just going based off my record, but I'm also going based off the layoffs and how act active other fighters have been and um, make sure they get their opportunity because it, that's, it's, it's only right. Right. So in a perfect world for you, perhaps to make up for some lost time, when would you like to return? Um, we're thinking early next year. Okay. You're like all early good. Early next year. Hand is good. No I'm good. Injuries. Yeah. I, mean, I, got some, I got some bruising. Yeah, that's that's all good. I thought <laughs> you were just, I eyes. thought it was just sunny in your house. That's all. I didn't realize. No, okay. no, no, no. I got some, I got some puffiness in my eyes. My, my eyes are pretty puffy right now. I think everything's kind of settling in. My face is puffy. The sodium. Got a little bust of lip. Right. But that being said, uh, early next year, that would be great. Uh, do you have someone in mind? No, right now it was kind of just no one in mind. Definitely in the top rankings, though. You know, I don't. I I, I told my manager I don't want to just fight to fight anymore, which is kind of what I felt like I was doing. I was just accepting the fights, like yeah, fighter, let's go. You know, now it's okay. Well, what's what fight is the right fight to get me to the title? Mm -hmm. do, you, do you? Uh, we were uh, before I let you go. We were just um debating like what they should do next. Should Valentina get a third crack because it was a draw? Should they go Blanchfield, Firo? Do you have a do you have a take on this since it's your weight class? Um I think they should give it to somebody else. Okay. Uh, it's kind of back and forth because Valentina the I do believe she she deserves it. The 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 third her third yeah. defense, you know, or shot. But also it's okay, we have the entire division also waiting to jump in for Alexa and I, I, I think, I think it'll be fun 
for the fans to see something new. Mm -hmm. Blanchfield, Furo. Maybe Furo. Okay. Furo. Coming off the big win. You have a win over Blanchfield, so perhaps you get it before Blanchfield. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, by the way, uh, last thing on, on uh, social media, you, your name is Tracy Cortez Era, I believe. What do you... On Twitter. On Twitter, sorry. Yeah, what what are you saying by that? Like, this is your time, This is, or does it mean something else? This, yeah, no, this is my time. Okay, this is this the is Tracy Cortez era. era. Yeah, this is, this is going to be my era. I'm really going to uh, discipline and focus myself, you know, these, these next this next year or two um, on, get, on climbing up to the rankings and getting that title. And you guys are going to see, not the world's going to see a different Tracy this year, this year and next year. Can't wait. Uh, looking forward to that very much. Great to have you on the show for the first time. Congratulations. Enjoy everything that comes with the win. Again, my condolences on uh, on, on the passing of your very good friend. And uh, thanks for making some time out. Hope you heal up soon, and we'll see you back in there soon. Thank you for having me. Okay, there she is, Tracy Cortez. Massive win on Saturday over Jasmine Jazz Davicius, a good friend of the program. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it very much. Hey, if you like this video... Give us the old thumbs up. Subscribe as well. You can get many more of these videos on the channel. So please do that. We would love you forever if you did so.